Hi everybody, this is Candace Cowan from the Ridgefield Historical Society. Maybe you saw my previous video on colonial clothing and you remember seeing that I was wearing a pocket. All colonial women would have a pocket, similar to this one that I've made, to carry her belongings. Each garment of clothing would not have its own individual pockets because that would have been a waste of fabric. So a pocket was made and worn outside the clothing and each night you would take it off and put it on the next morning, kind of like the colonial version of a fanny pack. Today we're gonna to make one that involves absolutely no sewing. So I'm gonna put aside my pocket, which did involve sewing, and show you how to make one without having to sew. First, I'll show you what you're gonna need. The first thing you're gonna need are some nine by 12 squares of felt. Everything I used to make this pocket was bought at Michael's Crafts in Danbury. You can get um, the same things at Joann's Fabrics. So you're gonna need some pieces of nine by 12 felt for the main part of your pocket. There's also this color, um, which these three colors are good colonial colors. This is the color of wool, this is the color of linen, and this would be the color of cotton. So I chose those three as my background colors. I also bought several sheets of other colors that I like to make decorations with. These sheets are 49 cents a piece. You need one sheet for each pocket. You will also need a pair of scissors. You will need some half inch uh, ribbon. This is just grow grain ribbon. You need a long enough piece to go around your waist and tie. You will need some fabric glue. I happen to really like this brand, but you really don't have to be this brand. Any brand will do. To decorate your pocket, you might want to use fabric paint, and you can design anything you want with fabric paint, but if you do select this option, please realize you're going to have to wait several hours after you decorate your project to complete it. You can also buy some in little bags like this. These are rosebuds. You can get those, and they come in many, many different colors and you can use those to decorate your pro project. You can also buy, in this packet, we had some already stick-on felt stickers like a sun and a rainbow and some lightning um, and stars. They've got all kinds of things that you can choose and use those. You can also take the extra pieces of felt you bought and just cut out whatever shapes you like. I use tarts because I'm corny. And you can use those to decorate your pocket. Or you can embroider on your pocket, which is the most realistic colonial choice. Of course, they didn't have fabric paint and those kinds of things in that day. So here is a piece of felt that I just drew with a regular um, ballpoint pen, a design. You will need to have a Embroidery hoop, this is not an expensive item. And I'll show you more how to do it later. And you will need some embroidery floss. Again, all of this is available at any craft store. Or if you have at home some leftover needlepoint yarn, you can use that too. I'm gonna to come back to this when we get to the decorating part. Okay, so now that you've seen everything you need, let's get started. You're going to start by picking whatever color you want your background pocket of your pocket to be. And you're going to fold it in half like this. Press it down. And then you're going to cut it along the folded side. Now you have two pieces that are the same side. You're going to fold it again. And you're gonna cut off this edge down here at the bottom just to make it rounded. Most, most uh, pockets were kind of tear shaped. So I'm just rounding off the edge to make it a little bit more authentic, okay? 
The next thing you're going to do is put one piece aside and take the remaining piece and you're going to fold it down to about where you rounded it, about a third of the way. And you're going to pick up your scissor and you're going to, in, in the middle, you're going to cut a slash. But you want to be sure not to go all the way to the top edge here because that's going to be where your uh, ribbon waistband is and you don't want to cut that. So I've just cut a slash and when I open it up, you can see that it's big enough for my hand to go through and that is where my pocket will open. Now comes the fun part and that is decorating your pocket. So you can take your, you can cut out whatever shapes you want from your flannel that you bought Use some fabric glue and just glue whatever you like onto your pocket. This stuff dries really fast, so you really don't have to wait for it to get dry. You do not want to go as close to the edge as, as I have this because we're going to need to glue that later over there. Okay? Or, as another choice, you can take some of those pre-made stickers I showed you. I would add some fabric glue to these because I'm not sure how good the glue that they have on here is. And you can um, put whatever you like on that came in your little package. Here's some hearts and some stars. And you can do whatever you want to decorate your, your pocket that way. Another choice, as I said before, is to use fabric glue. I'm sorry, fabric paint like these. You can get whatever colors you like. This unscrews, there's a little needle point at the top and you just do whatever you want on there. You don't want to squish a whole lot of this stuff on there because it'll take forever to dry, but you can decorate, you can write your name, you can do whatever you want with this stuff, um, but just make sure you let it dry before you go any further. Or you can embroider, as I mentioned before. So over here, I have a piece of uh, felt that I simply drew with a ballpoint pen, a little design with the flower, and if you want to do embroidery, you have to take your embroidery hoop, the one without the screw, and put it underneath where you want to do your embroidery. Then you take the side with the screw, you make the screw nice and loose, and you Place the top ring over the bottom ring and you press down and then you tighten the screw. Then you thread your regular sewing needle with your embroidery floss and coming from underneath, you're just going to follow the line that you made with your pen. And just make sure you cover all the ink that you put on there. Just going up and down. I'm going back into right where I came out before to make sure I get total coverage. And I'm gonna come out again, back over here. And you're, you of course can change color. You can do any design you want. I have a flower that I drew over here. I'm gonna do that later with some pink uh, embroidery floss. If you have leftover wool from a needlepoint project, you can use that. But this is what they would have used. So you can embroider your whole pocket, your whole front of your pocket, okay? So those are the choices for having how to decorate your project. So here is mine that I decorated. And the next step is that I am going to take The bottom piece that I made before, except I have the wrong one in my hand. Here's the bottom piece that we cut before. I'm gonna take my fabric glue and I'm gonna put a bead of, a little line of glue all the way around, about a quarter of an inch from the edge, all the way around, okay? Then I'm gonna take 
the top piece that I made with the decoration and I'm going to put it down in the glue and push down so that the glue can stick. Okay, then you just wait a couple of minutes for it to dry. The next step, because now you have two layers, see? And it's glued together. The next step is to fold your pocket along the top about an inch like that. And you're going to make four little cuts, four little snips. Snip, snip. That's the opening for your hand. You don't want to snip there. Snip, snip. Unfold it. And next you're going to take the piece of ribbon piece of ribbon that you cut that's long enough to go around your waist and coming up from the back you're going to just push that ribbon through the hole that you just snipped then down through the next one up through the next one and down again and now you have a pocket you can tie this around your waist and wear it for Colonial Day. My next video will be about how to make a sewn pocket like you saw mine in the beginning. And then next time after that, we will talk about how to make a colonial skirt or a costume for a man um, in my next video. Enjoy making your pocket. Have a great day. Bye-bye.